Ira Morley family. Uh, we feel, I know in our family, we feel wonderfully blessed to be merging our family with a family that is as, as loving, as giving, as caring as the, the Morleys. Um, we really feel uh, just, um, you know, like it's, it's just such an amazing occasion and, and so, so lucky to be able to do that. So, yes, thank you for all that. So, um, although I've been blessed with a number of, of different experiences over the years, a number of different roles, father of the groom has never been one of them. Uh, and likewise, although I've had an opportunity to do a fair amount of speaking, uh, speaking to a wedding party is something that I've never done before either. So to figure out what to do, I did what we all do nowadays, right? I went to YouTube. <laughs> and if you, if you go to YouTube, it'll tell you there's three things that are really important. The first one is keep it short. The second one is don't say anything embarrassing to either the, the, uh, the bride or the groom. And the third is be really, really nice. Hmm. Uh, we're waiting. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, I'm just kidding. I, 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 there's so many, there's so many, uh, many wonderful, wonderful things to say about, the, about this couple. And, and I want to say at least a few of them now. Um, so as many of you know, um, Chris can be, he can be kind of tight lipped when he wants to be. Um, this, most people in this room have heard the stories. Uh, you know, we called him CJ as a young child until we walked in one day to the second grade teachers conference said, we're CJ Whiting's parents. He said, there's no CJ here. It's like, you must be in the wrong room. No, CJ, CJ Whiting. Oh, no, no, Christopher. Oh, yeah. So he had gone ahead and, and changed what he wanted to be called without telling us. Um, we found out that he was the NYA Panther um, after the Mass fact. Yeah. We were probably the last ones to know that he actually was pre-med and going to medical school. And then, as a lot of you know, I work with a lot of his classmates in the hospital. And they would come to me and they say, oh, yeah, I hear Chris is thinking about X. And I would just stare at them with a smile and a blank face and go, yeah, yeah, sure, I think that's what he's doing. I, I think that's, that's what, he's, what he's doing. Which made it all the more remarkable. I, I still remember the phone call when uh, Chris first told us um, about Camille. And, you know, you know, because previously any sort of pre-Camille, any, any romance, not a, not a word. Um, but it was just a routine phone call one of those routine call homes, you know, call Sunday, hey, how's things going, what's up? And he went on and on about this woman he had met, uh, what she did, what she liked to do, where she was from, you know, she likes the outdoors is even more than I do, she loves to hike, she's working for Boeing, blah, 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 blah. And it was just so completely out of character that we both, Cecily and I, were like, you know, who is this, and, and, <laughs> and what, is he, what has he done with, with Chris? Um, fittingly, we got to meet Camille uh, on a trip to Whistler that uh, she was just reminiscing about, um, uh, and we were all bowled over as well. Um, that we, we took her skiing. We, we didn't realize that it had been her seventh or eighth time. We took her cat skiing and powder up to here, and she just, she had a smile on her face the whole time, um, even when she was like flat up in the snow <laughs> and, 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 and being hauled out of it. But uh, we, uh, you know, we were bull over then, and we've, we've uh, ever since have, have remained um, just, just her biggest fan and, and, and love to see it. Now, it's not that we didn't have some concerns about the match. I mean, they both can be kind of, detail oriented maybe is, is a way of putting it but they they find a way to to work it out and to see them grow together has been just a tremendous blessing that i, I wouldn't trade for anything so the last thing the youtube say is is uh is uh, give some sage advice at the end well as the saying goes i don't know about that um but one thing i would say if there was if there was absolutely one piece of advice I give it would be to realize that a, a long and successful marriage, it, it is, um, it's not about falling in love just once, 
Right. It's about falling in love over and over again. The person that's sitting next to you, the person you're going to get married to, is different than the person that you'll be next to 10 years from now and 20 years from now. It's different than the parent you might find in 10 years. It's different than the partner. And, and you know, embrace those changes, accept those changes, learn ways to continue to love through those changes because it's those changes that give a marriage and a relationship, you know, the nuance and the depth uh, and, uh, and, and everything that makes them, it's so wonderful. Uh, so with that, I just propose a toast to Chris and Camille, to their love, and to, uh, to a, a wonderful future. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.